What's going on guys? It's Michael from GPRisers.com and today we still do not have our processors. Now we did get in our motherboard batteries, which if you've been following along, um, these were shipped from overseas, so they cannot include the batteries. Seems like everything that is being shipped by the United States Post Office is being delayed by about three or four days. Uh, maybe it's just my luck, but I did get a whole lot of processors, so they're all on the way. I'll probably get all of them at once. I think there are two confirmed for tomorrow, so over the weekend, I will get to these. I got this frame all set up. We got our GPRisers.com fans in the back. I need to put the 1600 watt EVGA on, and we also set up another 12 card frame right here. Now, if you didn't see it in the last video, uh, the 3090 rig, we are actually going to be moving into one of our frames. So we're gonna be doing away with this eight card frame for now. I think I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Uh, I'm not completely sure what to do with it. Uh, definitely need to do cable management in here. Uh, maybe we'll give it away in a video though. Um, I don't think we will be using it, but this frame will be used for more 6600 XTs. Uh, this frame will be used for 3070 Ti's, and we are going to be building another one of these frames for additional 3090s. If you can see over here in our rack, we still do have one, two, three, and we have a fourth 3090 on our test bench over there. And I originally was going to be putting these 6600 XT's on our, our holding rig right here, this AMD one that we're building, or this is the 1300 watt power supply. That's going to be the Nvidia one. This is the 850, so that will be the AMD one. These are starting to trickle in. I do believe, hopefully, we'll have another six to fill up another 12 card rig. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start that rig now because we do have six of those. The 3090s I'm gonna go ahead and just put on their own rig. Um, and we have these 3070 Ti's that we need to put on, and we have some 3060's which are gonna go on the holding rig along with a 3080 Ti and a 3080 LHR. Now, eventually I'm going to be moving these holding rigs, um, put, probably put them over here somewhere, but that's just an aesthetic thing here in the bunker. Uh, but for today, um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get the 1600 watt EVGA put onto this mining frame, and I will talk to you guys a little bit about EVGA B stock, which is where I get a lot of these things. I really like this knife. So uh, this is a 1600 watt EVGA G plus power supply. Now, obviously this is not a normal packaging for this uh, power supply. I think it's fine. Now B stock almost always looks brand new to me. I'm convinced that they're just returns and they need to repackage them. So they classify them as B stock. You can see the plastic in there uh, covering all of the components. I mean, this thing looks brand new and it comes with all of the cords. Uh, of course it comes with that a uh, pretty beefy power supply that you could see, or not beefy power supply, but beefy cord right there. So the normal box for these kind of look just like these right here, G+. So you don't get the fancy box, but you do save $100. So let me go ahead, get this out, get all the cords that I need out of it and get it all hooked up. So the power supply actually goes on the back end right there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this frame around. Alrighty, we got this thing flipped around right here. We do have all of our fans Molex daisy chained together. It does not look great when it's not cable managed. However, uh, we do believe in our experience that this is much, much better than having multiple different hubs with different RGB controllers and all of that. This makes it much more simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the power supply right over here. All right, so we have the power supply right in there really snug. This hole doesn't line up too well, so uh, I got these two bottom ones in and that thing is not moving. So that said, let me go ahead and flip the rig back around. Alrighty, so now we have the rig there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Looks pretty green from the studio lighting. <laughs> I will try to angle these a little bit better. Um, but real quick with these frames, I know that they're extremely popular right now. That's why we're adding them to our line, um, but this bar right here with the 1600 watt EVGAs you want to have furthest away. There's actually four slots right here that you could put them into. Um, these two really are the only ones that you can do for risers. Uh, it either has to be sitting here or sitting there. Um, however, I kind of flip flop them. The bottom one I put furthest away so I'm able to use all the ports on the 1600 watt power supplies. But the top bar I put one back it doesn't really matter. It's just the way that I do it. I don't know if I went over these motherboards um, all too much, but like I said, they are generic 
uh, 12 GPU motherboards. But you know, we like testing all different motherboards out. You know, maybe one day, you know, GPU risers will actually come out with a full custom mining board. But we wanna make sure that it's up to our standards, up to your standards. And we spend a lot of time on all of our products, making sure that they're top notch. We spent a ton of time on our fans. And uh, I mean, the frames really, you know, they're generic frames. However, uh, you know, the paint is custom and everything like that. And we do vet the factories, making sure the quality control is there. But who knows, maybe one day you guys will see a GPRisers.com motherboard. But anyways, um, you can find these online. If you're just looking for, you know, a couple of them, you know, one to three, they can be kind of pricey because of shipping, but you know, they get cheaper as, you know, uh, bulk sales go on. I don't want to link them directly here on the YouTube video, but if you go to websites like AliExpress and you type in 12 GPU motherboards, you'll likely find ones that look similar to this. Anyways, uh, back to the EVGA B stock. Here are all the cables they give you, just a giant rubber band of cables. And honestly, you know, EVGA is a company that, you know, we here at gprisers.com admire. They have a great social media presence. Their customer service is fantastic. It's just a great company based here in the United States. So I know that this is B stock. Uh, it doesn't come with a nice box that you can unwrap. So that said, let me go ahead and cut this rubber band off. I'm going to hook all of them up just like here, let these dangle just like the holding rigs over here. And so let me get to that. All right, so we have all of the cords in our 1600 watt EVGA power supply. I went ahead and plugged in the motherboard and the CPU, which we do not have a CPU yet, but it's all ready to go. I also uh, got a couple of these SATA cords that are eventually going to be connecting our SSDs. So we do have our boot drives here, 64 gigabyte SSDs. We will be loading these up with MinerStat. And if you guys are interested in MinerStat OS, we actually have a link down below. And by signing up using that link, it does help support the channel. But regardless, I do at least advise you guys to go check it out. MinerStat is a great operating system, a great program if you're on Windows and a great development team that is readily available on their Discord. So enough of that, let me go ahead and get these SATA cables plugged in. Alrighty, these are all ready to go. And we have this one here. Um, I really wish I was you know, making content for you guys today uh, using graphics cards. Uh, however, like I said, these processors are just impossible to get. Well, not impossible to get, but I guess just for my delivery address, everything gets lost by the post office. But let me go ahead and get these batteries in. It's always good to have extras too. Uh, sometimes they can die over time, especially if you're buying used motherboards. Um, I think I got four packs of these on Amazon for $7. Uh, it's probably even cheaper in stores. I don't even know what sun power is, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and trust it for now. But let me go ahead and get these put in. All right, we have the battery plugged in there right next to our tissue paper protecting our CPU socket. Got another one there. Uh, this one already does have it on there. I went ahead and got our other EVGA B-Stock 1600 watt power supply out and ready to go onto this 12 card frame that's going to eventually house 12 more of these RX 6600 XTs. But I think that's gonna be everything today. Uh, like I said, there's not really a whole lot I can do without the processors. Um, I could take all the cards out and start putting them on our risers here, getting all of that plugged in. Uh, however, I like to kind of test one at a time. Um, I don't wanna get everything all hooked up and then just have a, a nightmare going on if something's not working. So I probably will set this up a little bit later, uh, go ahead and get another motherboard put onto there. So yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys the EVGA B stock. Um, I'm always looking for B stock if possible, but definitely check them out. Um, it's a great way to get power supplies for a cheap you know, price. And also the affiliate codes do work with EVGA, but I think they take about 10% off these power supplies. So. You know, I, I think the 1600 watt ones were 350 and then you get $35 off of that. I mean, with tax and shipping and everything like that, it still comes out to about 350, but um, it's a great deal for 1600 watt power supplies. So let me know down in the comments uh, below, you know, do you guys use EVGA B-Stock or do you know of other websites that have, you know, something similar to the B-Stock? I would love to know. Uh, we're always looking for some good deals on mining equipment and mining hardware, especially these power supplies. They come with warranties and everything like that. Uh, we are always looking for stuff like that. And we are looking to still expand our mining bunker. Doesn't look like a whole lot right now, uh, but this will fill out. 
and we are on the endless hunt like all of you i'm sure to get as many graphics cards as possible but also not paying some crazy you know third party prices for them hopefully stock becomes a little bit better but who really knows everything's been so crazy recently but it's exciting so again guys that's gonna be everything for this video i hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day and we'll see you guys tomorrow mm -hmm.